In 2020, I was in a slump. I had lost my part-time job thanks to the COVID-19 pandemic and I was told that I could only go back to work once the lockdown restrictions were lifted. Of course, nobody knew when or if this was ever gonna happen, so lucky me, I was stuck at home with no job, my mental health was plummeting, and my parents were also struggling financially because their businesses had been impacted by the pandemic. At this time, amidst all of this chaos, I was also trying to teach myself programming because I wanted to land a job in data science. Around two months into the lockdown, two months into teaching myself to code, my savings started depleting because I was barely making the minimum wage in my previous job. I knew that I needed to find a way to make money fast because I needed money to, you know, live. I went on Google and typed ways to make money while learning to code and almost all of the advice that I got were people suggesting that I become a freelance programmer. I was watching videos and reading articles about other freelance programmers who were making up to $10,000 a month and they were working for only like 20 hours a week. This sounded amazing to me. I wanted to follow in these people's footsteps. So I went online and registered myself onto Upwork and Fiverr. These are two of the biggest freelance marketplaces in the world. After creating my freelance profiles on Upwork and Fiverr, I applied to around 10 to 15 jobs over the course of a week across these two platforms. And then I sat back and waited. And waited. And waited and not one employer got back to me you see freelance platforms like upwork and fiverr are highly saturated you have tens of thousands of freelance programmers on these sites who have amazing credentials five-star ratings and decades of work experience and then there was me i hadn't even graduated university at this point i had no work experience and i hadn't completed a single paid gig in programming in my entire life why would an employer hire me over hundreds of other qualified candidates applying for the same job? I quickly realized that if I wanted to make money with programming, then Fiverr and Upwork were really not the best places to start, especially given my lack of experience. So here's what I did instead. The first way in which I made money with programming was through writing online. And I know that this might sound like a weird way to make money with programming, but hear me out. I started writing on a platform called medium.com in May 2020. Medium is a platform that allows anybody to go in and publish their stories, share them with the rest of the world, and even get paid for it. In this video, I will not be going too deep into the mechanics of how you can start writing and getting paid on Medium, but I will leave a few links down below in case you're interested in getting started yourself. In my first month on Medium, that was May 2020, I think I wrote like one or two programming tutorials on the platform. And in that month, I earned exactly $7.15. I know this might not sound like a lot of money, but the first $7 that I earned on Medium changed my entire life. Because prior to this, I always viewed money as something that I got in exchange for my time. For example, if I were to tutor kids on the weekends, then I'd get paid for every class I showed up for. Or if I were to spend 40 hours a week working, then I'd get paid in exchange for my time. If I didn't show up or didn't put in the work, then I wouldn't get paid. But with writing articles on Medium, even if someone was to read my article six months down the line from when I had first published it, I would still earn money from that article, although I could be doing literally anything else. I could be eating, sleeping, going to the movies, which just blew my mind. Um, the concept of passive income was just so amazing to me and I realized the potential that it held, which is why I continued to write on Medium. So on my second month on Medium, I earned around $150. And then in my third month, I earned about $400. I was also including affiliate links to my articles during this time. So I was earning an additional $100 to $200 at this point in time. And by 2021, I started earning approximately $1,000 every month. I was writing two to three articles each month. Some months I wouldn't write at all, but I would still get paid because people were reading the articles that I had written in my previous months. So overall, I felt like this was a very good exchange for my time. 
the effort to reward ratio was pretty high. I wasn't putting in that many days or that much effort, but I was still getting paid for something that I had written months ago. And it honestly is like stupidly easy to start writing on Medium. This article, for example, is called A Beginner's Guide to Sentiment Analysis with Python. I wrote this article when I was still a complete beginner. I had only taken about two to three online courses in programming and machine learning at this point, so I was no expert. And I was just sharing my findings and sharing what I'd learned with this one article. And look how much this article has earned me till date. I had earned over a thousand dollars from an article that was written when I was a complete beginner to programming, which should show you the potential of just going in and writing on Medium regardless of your level of experience. When I first started writing programming articles online, I often felt like I was simply too new to this. I had imposter syndrome. I felt like I wasn't qualified enough, like I just didn't have the experience required to go out and start sharing my learnings with other people. But then I read this quote from Rachel Thomas. She is the co-founder of Fast AI, and Rachel says that you're always best positioned to help somebody who is one step behind you. So even if you've just taken one programming course in your entire life, you're still in a great position to teach things to somebody who has never taken a single online course before. In fact, you might be in a better position to help them than someone with decades of programming experience because this person has forgotten what it was like to be a beginner. This is an incredible piece of advice and I have been following it throughout my career. It is the reason I still am writing online today, sharing my learnings with other people and documenting my programming journey, regardless of how inexperienced I feel sometimes. And it honestly has given me so much more than just side income. I've connected with so many people, received so many amazing opportunities just from writing online, which I will talk about later. But I strongly recommend you do the same. And if you want to get started writing online, Medium definitely is one of the best places to start. Again, I will link some resources down below as to how you can get started writing on Medium, how you can publish your first article in the platform, and of course, how you can get monetized and actually start making money from your articles. The second way in which I made money from programming was through freelancing. Now that I was writing online and had thousands of readers coming in every single month, something incredible happened. I no longer had to apply to freelance jobs. I wasn't even active on Upwork and Fiverr. Instead, people started coming in and reaching out to me, giving me freelance opportunities. I even got a couple of full-time jobs this way. For example, in 2021, I wrote an article titled How to Build a Customer Segmentation Model with Python. This was a simple article just teaching beginners how to build a machine learning model with Python. I hit publish, didn't think too much of it, and in just a couple of hours of me publishing this article, this employer reaches out to me and asks me if I can build something similar for his company. I ended up working with him for a couple of months after that. I built these machine learning models for his company. And you know, were there people who were better than me at math, machine learning, and programming? Were there people who could have done this job better than I did? Of course, but this person reached out to me because he found me on the internet. Remember when I said this just a couple of minutes ago? Why would an employer hire me over hundreds of other qualified candidates applying for the same job? The only way in which you can get a job that hundreds of other people are competing for is if you stand out. And there are a couple of ways to do this. One is by having an extensive portfolio of past projects or having worked at a reputable company in the past, maybe even a fan company. Keep in mind that I had none of these things to my name. I hadn't even graduated university yet. So the only way for me to really stand out amongst other people competing for the same roles was by building an online presence for myself. And I largely did this on Medium and after that on LinkedIn. Nowadays, I see so many tech professionals building their online presence on social media platforms with video content on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. You can really do this in any way that you want. If you find it easier to create written content, then Medium is one of the best places to start building your online presence. Or if you're comfortable with video content, then TikTok and YouTube could be the way to go. Okay, so remember how I told you that this employer reached out to me because of one of my Medium articles and we ended up working together for a couple of months? So ever since then, 
every single time this person had a paid gig that he needed done, even if it was outside my scope of expertise, even if it was related to web design, web development, or just something that I didn't specialize in, he would still reach out to me and ask me if I could recommend him to another person who could get the job done. Because that's the kind of trust and credibility that you build with your clients after having worked with them for some time. That's also how you get new roles because they will recommend you to other employers and then you end up building this portfolio of clients that you work with for the next couple of years. The only reason I got to do this, the only reason I got my first point of contact was because I started writing articles online and building this brand presence for myself. I strongly recommend that you do the same. Okay, so we've now established that building a personal brand and just going the extra mile will help you land freelance opportunities that pay well. And ever since I started out in 2020, I have worked with about 15 different companies on a freelance basis. And this is excluding my day job, which I still currently am working at right now. And all of these steps were what helped me go from being an unemployed 18 year old in 2020 to a relatively happy financially free adult in 2023. The third way in which I made money from programming was by creating online courses. In today's world, it has never been easier for anyone to just go out and start creating an online course. All you need to do is register onto a platform like Udemy or Teachable and just start teaching. And as we established earlier, you're always in the best position to teach things to somebody who is one step behind you. So regardless of your level of experience, you can always create an online course teaching something that another person would benefit from. But do take this advice with a grain of salt because it doesn't mean that you can just go out there and create an online course on any topic and expect it to sell. An introduction to Python course, for example, will probably not sell in 2023 because this is a topic that has already been extensively covered. There are tens of thousands of free resources on the internet teaching the exact same thing. But an introduction to Python in finance course would probably sell better because this is a topic that is in demand and it also hasn't been extensively covered before. So do your research before selecting a topic if you do want to go out and create your own online course because it really is a lot of work and you don't want to end up creating something that people will not buy. I've also noticed that ChatGPT and generative AI related courses are doing really well. Even the simplest ChatGPT course on Udemy has like tens of thousands of students. And this programming course, for example, teaches people how to code using ChatGPT. It was published just one to two months ago. It has less than two hours of video content and it already has over 5,000 students, which should show you the potential of integrating your programming skills with ChatGPT or generative AI related knowledge. So if you can find a way to integrate your programming knowledge to create a course related to ChatGPT or generative AI, then it is very likely that you will make a lot of money. I myself have created and launched an online course on Udemy. It is titled Python for Social Media Analytics and it teaches people the combined skill set of a digital marketer and a Python programmer. I will say that I haven't made as much money from this course as compared to my other revenue streams. But this course has given me so much more. It has dramatically improved my presentation skills, communication skills. It has taught me video editing. And it was actually my first introduction to the world of video content. It is what inspired this YouTube channel. And speaking of this YouTube channel, I've also received a couple of opportunities from here. I've had tech companies reach out to me asking me if I could make similar videos for their organization. And if you look at the previous videos on my channel, you'll notice that my editing skills are really not great. So the fact that I am getting opportunities from this YouTube channel should show you the potential of just putting yourself out there and again, creating a personal brand. And yeah, those were the steps that I took to make my first $10,000 with programming and subsequently a lot more. I do want to end this video by saying that the notion that you need to achieve a certain level of mastery in a field before you can start making money from it is completely false. Even if you've just taken your first programming course, 
you're in a great position to go out and start making money with what you know by following the steps that I've just mentioned earlier in this video. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, do like it and do subscribe to my channel. It would mean the absolute world to me. I will also be posting more tips and tutorials on programming, data science and AI in the next couple of weeks. So stay tuned for that.